What is up, friends? I'm finally back to another YouTube video. The past few weeks, I have been slammed, busy, and just couldn't get uh, any of these tutorials uploaded. My One of my jobs is a sound designer for musicals, and of course, because of COVID, all that was shut down, which actually led me to doing these videos. But lately, things have been coming back, and I'm very, very grateful, and the show I just uh, finished is one of my favorite shows I've ever done, and... Um, it was a lot of work, <laughs> a lot of hours, a lot of late nights, but it, it felt great to do. But I'm so glad to be back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about vocals, and I'm going to show you how my vocal presets work and how to fully implement them into your vocals. A lot of times with presets, it's a little bit difficult because not all presets work with all vocals, and you, it's hard to find a perfect preset for any vocal. Um, but with my presets, I design them in a way to help you with that, and I show you all of it in a training video that comes with the vocal presets. And if you haven't downloaded that, it's at cellardoorsound.co slash free presets. Um, it's awesome. There's over 30 presets. We're going to talk about the EQ and compressor presets, as well as the saturation uh, presets that, that comes with it. And I've been getting so many emails, even over these three weeks, about how these presets are working for people from as far as uh, voiceover people and uh, singers and songwriters and it's it's they're just very very helpful and the point of these is to help you learn how to eq and how to compress and what to look for and before you know it you'll start eqing on your own um, after you use these for a while so let's get straight into this video so i have a song i kind of brought back a song that we've done a few videos in and uh let's just play it a little bit my good friend gideon dunn well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing In my head I paint a picture Sweet. Uh, sounds, sounds great. The vocal, let's just solo out the vocal so we can hear just what's happening and then we just have a little bit of reverb on it and that's, that's all that's going on uh, with this vocal right now. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing In my head I paint a picture Yeah, sounds super good. Uh, and we're going to make it even better. So, the first thing is let's look at the compressor. So, when, as you probably know, when you load up any of these channels, uh, the compressor is always on the top, and then channel EQ, and we're just going to kind of go in that order. So, we're going to compress before we EQ. Normally I actually do it the other way around, but compression in the beginning can actually help soften some of the frequencies that you would EQ out anyway. So it makes it a little bit easier sometimes to get a good sound having that compressor first. So let's look at the compressor. So when you download the presets and you watch the training video, I walk you through how to actually get these onto your computer and, and where to put them so that they work uh, easily and well and when, once you do all that all you have to do is click this little uh, down drop menu here and all your presets will come here and we have a lot of compressor settings we've got some airy and subtle pop vocal rap vocal bkg vocal uh, these are kind of based off of the styles of compression that you would use in, typically in some of this but they really can be used for anything so we're going to go through a couple of these and just kind of see the sound we want um, and, and just start there. So let's try this airy and subtle. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. And normally, whenever I, whenever I pull up a, um, a setting, the first thing that I'm going to look at here is the threshold. It's the most important thing. This is going to tell you how much you want to compress. And you'll see how much you're compressing by these little lights that light up. So the more lights that light up, the more you're compressing that vocal, the less the the less that you're compressing. And right now we don't have really anything going on um, as far as compression, but I, normally I'm looking for about three dots somewhere in here, uh, especially for a song like this. So let's try it. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing In my head I paint a picture All right, that one's, that one's okay. Uh, let's go to big pop vocal. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing In my head I paint a picture 
All right, cool. So what you're looking for here, th this this setting sounds really great for this vocal. And what you're looking for is is the the big louder notes that he's singing. A lot of times I'll go to the loudest section of the song, but the the big notes that he's singing that's where you're kind of wanting to see that compressor move. So if this compressor is moving like the entire time and really squashing down here whenever he's doing those big notes, uh, that might not sound that great, um, especially with the stock GarageBand uh, compressor that's that's in here. So I'm personally, I'm looking for about three dots. That, that's what I'm looking for as far as how much my compressor is actually working when he, when he really hits the, the louder notes. Well, sometimes I go out by myself. Hmm? And I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing In my head I paint a picture In my head I paint a picture And I think of all the things that you're doing Cool. So that's kind of just leveling out the vocal. It's not really affecting the emotion. It's not squashing him down. We're not trying to do a ton of compression, especially because it's it's kind of an acoustic song. Um, so we're lightly compressing him, really taking those peaks out, peaks out, and then we're actually raising the gain a little bit on his vocal. So you're able to get a louder vocal without distortion. So let's play this with the song. I'm going to turn off this compressor so it is not engaged. Uh, we'll listen to a little bit, and then we'll turn it on. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing All right, let's turn it on. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing so this makes a big difference. We're 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 starting to hear more of the the subtle stuff in his vocal. We're actually we're, to me we're actually getting a little more emotion out of the, out of the vocal. We're not adding emotion. We're just picking up more because we're softening those really loud parts and we're bringing up those lower, more intimate intimate parts. And a big reason why these presets are so great is because you don't have to mess with the ratio, attack, gain, anything like that. Um, that's a little more advanced when it comes to compressors. And the most important thing is to learn this threshold and how to, you know, make these these dots correct and, and how to not over compress your vocal. And these presets have the ratio attack and gain just already ready for you. So all you're messing with is one knob and it's it's awesome. And so this is a great setting uh, for compression. So let's go to EQ now. All right, EQ is arguably the hardest thing to do do to mix like voc on vocals because everybody is so so different so i was really careful whenever i created all these and tried to use a bunch of different vocalists and tried to do use techniques that i that i do a lot so same thing on this eq you do this little drop down menu and here is your eq presets so we got clean and pop male vocal got some female ones if you have a really honky sounding vocal, that helps a lot. Um, warm O vocal; these are more like background type vocals. A bunch of a bunch of good stuff. Uh, so this one's a little simpler because you basically just flip through all these and just find what you think sounds the best. So we're gonna go through a couple of these and and listen. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. All right, female pop vocal. Well, sometimes I go out. So a lot of times what I'm listening for in these presets is the the high end and the, the harsh frequencies. Um, these are designed to, to get rid of some harsh stuff that naturally is in a lot of vocals. And that, that's the main thing. It's, it's, it's the harsh and it's the high frequency. So that one has a little bit too much high frequencies. Let's go to gushing warm vocal. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. That sounds pretty good. Let's go to soft acoustic vocal. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. All right, let's do smooth crisp vocal. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. And I think of all the things that you're doing. In my head, I paint a picture. Cool. This one sounds really good to me on him. We're adding some high end, but 
you can tell it's it's a little more higher of a frequency than that the uh, female one that we were that we were listening to in the beginning. And so this is a really good start. So now, um, as I go through in my training video, once you get all these presets, the most important thing about doing any vocal presets is getting the low mids figured out because this this is the low mids right here which is usually about 200 to 400 ish and most of the time vocals can be muddy in this area and i that's like the first thing i always look out for whenever i'm eqing a vocal because i i want to hear the vocal clean and and these mics are aren't set up in a way to naturally take that out because everyone's is so different that the mic actually would sound really bad on most people's vocals so they keep this area flat so that you can take that out so this is the part where it's going to take a little bit of practice for you to um, get it but every preset that is in this list has has some of this already taken out and it's usually this green band here but i always recommend that you grab this guy and you turn it up while listening to your vocal, and you try to find that frequency that just that is just too much. Um, and you'll you'll sweep across, and it'll be obvious. Uh, and when when you get to the right band, and you're like, oh my gosh, this is this is crazy. So let's try it with uh, Gideon's vocal here. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water, and I think of all this. Okay, so this is definitely his frequency here, and you can you can hear it. It's it's it just really peaks out of you and is in, is intense. And if I move this up to here, well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. It doesn't sound like it's really peeking out at me. Um, it just sounds like this is raised, right? But if I go back to the frequency that we found, well, sometimes I go out by myself. And I look across the water. It's just so much louder and it, it just sounds ridiculous. So that's kind of a practice that you can do is, is kind of move it around and just listen and find that area where it's just it's just too much. So once you find your um, kind of muddy low mid frequency, you're going to keep this band in the same place and you're just going to bring it down. So what I like to do is push play and then kind of slowly bring this down to where you think it's in a good spot. And you want to be mindful with these garage band EQs because a lot of times I'll see people EQing in GarageBand or even in Logic, and they'll just kind of do one of these numbers, because visually that looks great. Yeah, I'm taking out that frequency. But if you come down here to the gain, that is mi minus 17.5 dB. That is quite a lot. Like You can cut so much with these EQs, and it's just never going to sound good. And you can kind of see in these presets, I'm barely moving stuff down, but, but that's 3 dB. That's actually quite a lot here, and this one's probably more, 4 dB. Um, so a little goes a long way when 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 you're doing this, and I'll I'll play it right now, and you'll hear how how drastic it sounds with it this far down. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water. Right, sounds thin, doesn't sound good. So we're gonna bring it back, and I normally I try to to just keep it simple and try to try to not take too much out of it so that it's unbalanced but it cleans up the vocals so much so let's try well, sometimes i go out by myself and i look across the water and i think of all the things that you're doing in my head i paint a picture cool so that's in a good spot we're only cutting about 4 db we can check this by turning this off if you click the the green band that's associated with it, it'll kind of make that go back to where to zero, and you can kind of listen and turn it off and on and see if you're making the vocal sound worse than it already was. Well, sometimes I go out by myself and I look across the water and I think of all the things that you're doing. In my head, I paint a picture. Cool. So this is in a really good spot. The vocal sounds awesome and yeah, sounds great. All right. So we're going to do one more thing and we're going to go to our distortion and go to distortion two. And this is another set of presets that you get in the ultimate vocal preset bundle. Pull this down and you have some really cool, just, just nice saturation that you can add to your vocals. That's, that's pretty fun. So let's go with probably soft impact vocal and let's see how this sounds well, sometimes i go out by myself and i look across the water 
And I think of all the things that you're doing. In my head, I paint a picture. All right, so that sounds pretty cool to me. Um, there's some more heavy stuff here. Uh, I've got some front and center heavy, heavy distorted vocal, pop vocal. Uh, this one sounds great with it, though. So let's let's keep it here. I'm gonna turn it off and on with the track. A lot of times when I'm when I'm adding saturation and stuff, sometimes the saturation will sound too much. Whenever the vocal soloed, it kind of did to me there. But in the track, it, it it might sound way better. So when you're doing your distortion, definitely do it with the track. Let's turn it off. Sometimes I go out on myself. I look across the water. Let's turn it on. Sometimes I go out on myself. I look across the water. And I think of all the things that you're doing. In my head, I paint a picture. All right, cool. So that, to me, made it sound just so much better. That's I really, really like that that saturation setting there. So that's that's it. That's that's the presets. Let's turn everything off and listen to this track without anything done done on it and and then we'll we'll turn everything back on and compare. Sometimes I go out myself and I look across the water. And I think of all the things that you're doing. In my head I paint a picture. All right, cool. Let's turn everything on. Sometimes I go out on myself and I look across the water And I think of all the things that you're doing In my head I paint a picture Alright, that to me sounds so much better. The first one isn't bad. His, his vocal actually sounds really good just on its own. But this slight compression and slight EQ and a little bit of distortion really really brings out the vocal and, and puts it up front and there's some little moments like the <laughs> that he does here that that you hear so much more whenever all this stuff is is in but it's not too much it, it really makes the song sound mixed and professional and this thing can be exported and put wherever you want and and it it that's it and it's really quick like especially once you start learning these presets and and how to get this low mid frequency handled how to set your threshold in a in a nice way and then just throw some saturation on it and you can have your vocal mixed super quick so that is the video today hopefully you enjoyed it definitely go grab it at celadorsound.co slash free presets grab those presets there's over 30 that that come completely free and you can actually use these inside of logic pro as well so if you ever decide to upgrade to logic uh, it's the same exact EQ and compressors that are all in there, and you can you can use them inside that, which is which is awesome. So, so thank you so much for watching this video. I'm just so excited to be back back with you. I love making these videos, and um, I look forward to to seeing you next week. Have an awesome day.